Um, the purpose of this presentation is uh, to discuss the three basic styles of vibration for consolidating concrete in molds in our industry. Uh, we'll cover table vibration, we'll cover Columbia mold vibration, and then we'll cover another style of mold vibration where vibrators are attached directly to the mold. Talk about the uh, advantages and disadvantages of each. So the first uh, system we'll we'll look at is a uh, we'll call it uh, mold vibration, and this will be this will be the style of uh, vibration where the vibrators will be attached directly to the mold. And so we'll, we have a mold here. And we'll just uh, make a, a rough drawing of the mold. Like so. And on the bottom here, this is where the vibrators would be mounted. And the mold would rest on these corners in the machine at rest. The production pallet that the product will be made on sits on a series of what we'll call perches. And the machine at rest would look like this. The, the pallet perch will raise up and it will actually lift the mold off of these rests. And so I'll redraw the mold over here. Like so. And now we have the pallet directly under the mold. It has raised the mold up off these perches here on the ends. And now the vibrators can spin in a counter rotating direction. These vibrators are, are very simply a shaft with bearings and they have counterweights attached to them and by spinning the counterweights you induce forces to vibrate and move the mold to, uh, to affect the uh, concrete in the mold. The, the tendency of this style of vibration is that as the spin when the vibrators get up to speed, up to say 3000 RPM, the forces tend to equalize horizontally because the, the shafts are, are turning in opposite directions. And that results in a vertical movement of the mold. But as these come up to speed, as they accelerate and as they decelerate, these counterweights tend to get out of phase. And when that happens, the mold tends to rock about its axis in that direction. And the tendency then, in this type of vibration, is that you get different vibration on the outsides of the mold as opposed to the center. And that would affect the filling of the mold and would affect the compaction of the concrete in the center of the mold. Another uh, disadvantage to this style of vibration is that the, when the shoes come into the mold to compress the product to size, that they're coming down on height stops but these shoes here, compressing, are being determined by 
a height stop that's attached down here on the lower beam that the pallet perch is attached to. And so your height is being determined from the bottom of the pallet to the chute. And any variation in pallet thickness is translated into the product that's being made in the mold.